Pennsylvania is one of eight states in the nation with a split government where the governor is of one party and the legislature is controlled by the other. In fact, it's been like that in Pennsylvania for the better part of 30 years. So what type of impact does that have on the laws that impact us each day? Matt Maisel looks into that in tonight's Fox 43 Price of Politics, a Capitol Beat investigation. A Democratic governor, a Republican legislature. Is Pennsylvania government bipartisan though? Well, that depends on who you ask. If I could just scream louder at the rallies, maybe my minimum wage bill would pass. Eh, not working. We pass bills that improve the agriculture community, you know, workforce development, career and technical. We need to have better balance. I'm not looking for a 50-50 or whatever. I suspect of Senator Costa, if I was in a minority, I'd probably have the same opinion that he has. In a split government like PA, the Republicans write the rules, the governor provides the checks and balances. It's a little messier having a divided government, but uh, the people of Pennsylvania seem to like it. In fact, it's been like that for 17 of the last 30 years. And again, depending on who you ask, it seems to work. Uh, last session was 650 bills. 96% of them uh, were uh, bipartisan, 64% were unanimous. We look through all 4,198 bills the House and Senate introduced during its 2019-2020 session, and here's what we found. In the House, only 95 bills that made it out of committee were from Democrat sponsors. Of those, about a third, 33, made it to the Senate, and half of that, 16, made it to the governor. In the Senate, only a fifth of the committee bills were Democratic. 28 made it to the House, with just three signed by the governor. It's, it's, it's incomprehensible to me that, that the only measures that the public wants us to vote on are 93% of Republican bills. The legislation that people want don't get done, like property tax reform, okay? Like reducing the size of government like protecting citizens. Many Republicans have argued that pension reform and medical marijuana are big ticket items that the GOP and governor have worked on together. Activists say though they should be doing more for what you're paying them. Our Fox 43 Capitol Beat investigation continues with a closer look at how they are spending your money. In Harrisburg, Matt Mazel, Fox 43 News.